Hi, this is Brian with Schneider Shrub and Tree Care. In this video, we're going to show you how to do a compatibility jar test. A compatibility jar test is to determine whether or not two or more products can be in the same tank at the same time. When doing a compatibility jar test, make sure you wear the proper PPE. The proper PPE for the products that you are using can be found in the label. Remember, the label is the law. You're also going to want to have a clear quart jar, clearly labeled, do not drink. You're going to want to have your measuring devices. You might have measuring devices like this teaspoon. Make sure you keep this teaspoon far away from kitchen and food prep areas. You're also going to want to have the products on hand. Wait a You're going to want to add the products in the proper order. First, add water conditioning agents and activators. Second, add wettable powders and dry flowables. Third, add water soluble concentrates and solutions. Fourth, add emulsifiable concentrates. Fifth, add soluble powders. Sixth, add surfactants and oils. And lastly, add fertilizers. You're going to want to mix the mixture each time you add one of those products. For our jar test, we're going to be mixing a water soluble powder and fertilizer. The first thing I'm going to add to the tank is the water soluble powder. Now I'm going to mix the jar completely. Once you've added your first product, in this case our water soluble powder, make sure you mix the product well. To do that, put the cap on tight and shake the jar vigorously. Make sure you don't drop the jar because it is glass. Once you've mixed in your first product, now it's time to add the second product. We're going to add our, our concentrate to the jar. To do that, unscrew the lid and carefully pour the product in. You're going to replace the lid and shake the jar vigorously again. Once you've added all the products that you want to test the compatibility of, let the jar sit for 15 minutes. After 15 minutes, feel the side of the jar to check the temperature of the jar. If the jar is warm, let the jar sit for 15 more minutes. Also look at the mixture, look for foam, scum, precipitates or other unexpected results. In this case, we would want to make sure that our water soluble powder is dissolved all the way.